I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like this. In fact, I was rehearsing my stand-ups like this in the end zone for all the streaks that would have ended today for Michigan State. You know, the 10-game win streak and the unbeaten season. Uh-uh. Right before our eyes, it happened. And then everyone rushed the field, and um, honestly, it just felt like a dream. I was running over to, the, to our student section, our parent section, uh, to go celebrate with my family, and I jumped up there, and it honestly just, I mean, I've never felt anything like that. Like, I honestly just felt like I was in a dream. Can you believe it? It's hard to believe, but the reason we work so hard in the offseason is for games like this. Let's go! You look at the Baylor game last year, the beginning of about our team. We don't give up. Even in bleak moments like that, this is why we're Michigan State football right here. You can't win a game that way. A win's a win. Man, it's amazing. Hey, this is MSU Spartan football. This is how we play. How do you win that game, man? Hey, stay have faith and keep playing. Don't give up. Don't ever give up in your mind or in your heart. I'm sure you haven't thought about this, but how are you going to explain this one to your grandkids in about 35 years? Uh, I'm gonna tell them the Spartans prevailed. I mean, that's all, that's above all else. I mean, that's 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 what we pride ourselves on. You know, understand that the game's not over till there's no you know time on the clock. And uh, this just is, this is the epitome of our whole our offense, our defense, and our special team, our program. You know, we're never gonna quit. We're gonna keep working hard, keep pushing forward. I'm gonna play a little pool when I get home. I'm gonna put Paul Bunyan right in the middle of that pool table. <laughs> okay, and I'll invite our entire team and our coaches over, and I'll decompress. <laughs> Probably bad timing for this statement, but hail to the victors in green and white. Mark D'Antonio now 33 wins in his last 36 games, as improbable as it was. Kevin Gale has the story from the Michigan locker room, and that too had a change of tones in the final seconds. Kevin? Wow. What more can be said? Michigan was just seconds away from snapping the streak against Michigan State, but instead they joined the Oakland Raiders after the immaculate reception and the Stanford Cardinal after the play on the wrong side of history and an amazing game winning miracle. Snap was low, uh, just below the knees and he, he didn't feel it cleanly and looked like then he bobbled it again, kind of kicked it a little bit and looked like he was trying to trying to kick it when he was in traffic and me saw it. Yeah, I talked to him. I just told him, you know, we're behind him and we're going to, you know, look at film and stuff. But, you know, we support Blake through everything. So and that's the kind of team we're going to be. This is my last time playing them. But we're not, I'm not going to let that like, stop me from doing what I got to do on the field. I haven't had a game like this before and it hurts. But you can't just let this one game uh, determine our future. And we're still going to come back. Everybody played. Played, played, played really well. Played winning, winning football. Competed like maniacs. You know, and both teams did. It was a heck of a football game. Played winning football and didn't get the result. I mean, welcome to football. That, that uh, and we move forward. Credit to Jim Harbaugh, who answered question after question in what had to be the most excruciating press conference of his life. In fact, it sounded like he took advice from the Lion King quote he used during last Monday's presser: "The past can hurt. You either run from it." or embrace it. At the Big House with Fred Human, Kevin Gale, Six Sports.